All right, now this one has uh, some mixed powers of zero inside of it. Uh, what that means is we can replace those with one, like on E right there. Let's just look at E. Um, one squared is just going to be one. Really what that means is, since it's being multiplied by something, we don't usually show one times something. Now, I didn't make it a zero. I just got rid of it. Okay. So um, now... In this, I've got b to the power of 4 over c, but I have two sets of each of these. So we'll, we'll get into the rule for the fractions here in just a moment, but we can see that this is b to the power of 8 over c squared. And that would be for the e right there. Um, for f, so we have that x to the power of 0 right there, which is 1. And once again, we don't really need to show that because we have other thing that, things that are being multiplied. Now you could simplify inside the parentheses, which I would recommend. So that would really be y to the power of 5. Because that would be 4 plus that 1. So I've got 3x cubed, y to the power of 5th. And all of that is taken to the power of 3. So <clears throat> I would have, I've got this 3, but I would have 3 of those in the end. I would have x cubed, but I would have three of those as well. And then I would have this y to the power of five, and I would also have three of those. So the final answer, three to the power of three is 27. And then I've got x to the power of three times three, which is nine. And finally, y to the power of five times three is 15. So that would be the answer for f right there.